So once we pulled the skis out of the press, we've got a big block, two skis side by side. And the challenge becomes how do we extract the skis from that block and turn it into a, a high performance functioning set of skis. So the first step is by hand and using the steel edges as a guide, we cut the skis out roughly using a bandsaw. Then the next step is that we grind the skis and that basically puts bevels on the sidewalls of the skis and gets the perimeter shape of it dialed in. The first thing that we need to do when working on the base of the skis is to grind them flat initially and remove any type of flashing. So first step is to grind the skis on a belt grinder. We then go to our stone grinding machine. This machine, I like to think of it as blanking out the skis. The skis will then go to a second stone grinding machine that puts the structure onto the skis. And we do just a few light passes with a particular structure or pattern. Then our skis move into a shop that's similar to a tune shop you would see at most ski service centers. To detune the tips and tails, we use gummy and diamond stones to knock the sharpness off the tip and tail zones of the steel edges. We also check the bevels, make sure everything's perfect on the bevels. Then we go to our waxing station. We like to do a base conditioning wax first, which is a very soft type of wax. New skis, new bases don't like to absorb wax initially. So we use a base conditioner, which is really soft wax, and we'll put a layer of that on the bases, heat it up, let that absorb in, then hot scrape it. And that sets a initial layer of wax that will allow other wax to bond. And so then we'll put a temperature specific wax onto the skis, run it through the infrared waxer, which heats up the skis. The wax will melt into the base, get good penetration. And then we run it through our roto brush to just buff out any additional wax. At this point, we've got a ski that is properly tuned. It has the appropriate bevels and is also waxed. So we're ready for bindings now.